like it. What's up guys? It's another awesome day here at my house. We're just free flying Carol getting her breakfast in. And uh, we're gonna go head over to Tyler's house and get the, uh, the, the new BF Goodrich KM3 tires mounted onto our new wheels um, from I think they're called System 3 Off-Road. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. I'm super excited. Spent the day with the kids uh, doing some Mr. Mom stuff. And uh, yeah, the rest of the day is pretty much free after we're, we're done with Carol. Wow, it's fine. This is also going to be the first time I've actually towed this whole package here with the Tacoma. But it sits nice and level. It's looking good. I got the canopy on there now. I'm really stoked about how it's fitting. It looks good with the bedsides. I had to take some trimming and, and uh, I don't know, maneuvering to get it to work. But I think we're ready to go. Doesn't feel super heavy or anything. Feels really good. Well balanced. I just put the truck in gear and uh, took my foot off the brake and it started towing. So that's usually a pretty good sign that uh, it's not way too heavy. I mean, the gears are just pulling it along in idle. So uh, I have the 5.29 gears in this Tacoma that definitely helps. I think I just raked his driveway a little bit with the license plate on the trailer. <laughs> Whoops. What this? No, 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 that's what I'm saying. We gotta mount them on the wheels still. Uh, oh. Yeah, we might run out of time. But it's super easy. You basically just, you take the, the wheel and then you just like drop. Just mount it. Yeah, you just mount it. <laughs> yeah, you just... But then on my way over here, I got really worried because like I might not have, uh, unless there's valve stems in the box. I, don't, I didn't think about that. You went silver? I went with silver. I was feeling fancy. Uh, no valves. But there is a tire. So it's nice looking. I know. I figured. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, those are lugs. Oh, shoot. No valve stems. No valve stems at all, huh? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! This is another product I gotta put on now that we have the bigger, um, the bigger. Oh, the temperature gauge. Yeah, yeah it's the temper, temper gauge from Razorback. Is it cordless? Oh, you got a shirt in there. Too. A shirt in there too. Hold on, buddy. No, it's not cordless. There's a there's a little thing you gotta run back there. It's insane. I just want to compare the tires, see if we have any like loss of power with the new 32 inch tire or increased traction. Yeah. Ah, huge bummer. I uh, I did bring valve stems. I thought they I thought it came with the wheels. It's just uh, it slipped my mind. So I'm taking the truck to go get some valve stems. I left Tyler with the Can Am. They're gonna go rip around for a bit. Okay, got the valve stems. Hopefully we have enough daylight left to figure this out. Um, the internet made it look like it was really easy to mount beadlocks. I've never done it. Tyler says he's got some thread locker. Hopefully we have enough. 
We're gonna try to whip this out and get these things mounted. If we can't finish it today, then we'll come back. I'm just gonna leave everything here, at, or leave everything at Tyler's house and come back. But I'm really, really excited to get these things mounted. It's gonna look awesome. So, before we get back, I just wanna say that this episode is brought to you guys by my Patreon members. The, the guys that are, are subscribed monthly to help me financially be able to do some of this crazy stuff None of this would be possible without the Patreon members and then of course the audience that watches religiously and watches everything because that's where that's where the money comes from to do this kind of stuff. Um, and it's so awesome to have your guys' backing and to be able to, uh, th that basically allows me to, to live this like extravagant and so exciting, awesome life. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to the Patreon members. Uh, you guys really, are life changing, so seriously, thank you. Odin's Raven, there's a wolf. Oh my goodness, heal, Cinnamon, heal. Don't go on the train tracks, puppers. Hey, puppy. Hey, you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, come be my friend. I am 100% sure this dog's gonna run away from me, but I never just leave a dog out. Come here, buddy. Don't kill me. Someone's got to be looking for this dog. <sighs> Weird. I'm gonna uh, hold on to him for a little bit so he doesn't get hit by a train or something. I don't know. He's beautiful though. Husky's like my dream dog. Hey, bounce over, buddy. Go over there. Go over there. <laughs> don't eat that. Don't eat that. You're hungry. You're hungry. Oh my goodness. This happy boy. Oh, I'm so mad because I love this dog so much and it probably belongs to someone. And even if he doesn't, Desiree's never gonna let me keep it. What a sweetheart though. Might change our plans a little bit. What a beautiful dog. You're setting the seatbelt alarm off, bud. I call you Roscoe. No, Merlin. I'm gonna name you Merlin. Merlin, so cute, Merlin. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, don't ever leave me. Uh, this is what I worry about. I actually worry that my dog is gonna get out sometime and some crazy person's gonna find him, fall in love with them, and never return him. But I'll take him over to uh, the veterinary clinic and get him uh, get his chip scanned and in the meantime probably put out some social media stuff see if I can find his uh, his friends oh he's hungry Tyler I found a friend uh, dude you have a dog dude he's the sweetest what dog is this his name is Merlin did you just get a dog <laughs> I found him on the train tracks bud did you really yeah and he came over and he curled up on my lap and he was so he sad. No, no collar? Oh, he has, he has no hope. Can I keep him? <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, he smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Okay. Well, you... remember when we were going to stay out of the mud? Yeah. We did, but we, we made new mud. Oh, I figured that would happen. <laughs> That's perfect because my... Uh, my pressure wash is frozen solid. So. Oh, good. Yeah, I have no way to clean it. Uh, I gotta show you the. I'm gonna the release circuit. Merlin. We don't know the dog though, so we gotta be a little Sorry. careful. Sorry, I might put him in the canopy for now. Yeah. I'm gonna take him to um, Scatter Creek tomorrow, probably, to get him his chip scanned. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna put some stuff out on social media tonight. Good deal. That's how I found my dog. Hey, buddy, you're so adorable. Okay. Oh. 
I think he just smiling. Oh, only you find a random animal. <laughs> He's my friend. Dude, I've wanted a husky my whole life. It's beautiful. Des won't let me get one. All right, Merlin, in you go. For now, we're going to figure this out, buddy. If not, you're going to have two new friends, Bentley and Bodie. <laughs> or maybe. Sweet. It's full of mud. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize until I It's impossible to get this thing clean. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're coming up with a circuit for Tyler's house, a track. And Tyler's been mapping out what he thinks is gonna work the best. So let's go check it out. It's kind of fun in two and four wheel drive, but yes. we're gonna do it in four wheel drive first. Okay. Stay there, Merlin, I love you! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh, it didn't feel like it to me at all. It just, oh, yeah, it's just the. It's because you're in the passenger seat. In the passenger. The passenger seat is wow. We, we should try to like see if we can at least get the rim to slip inside of a tire, right? Like with some soap, to see if we'll, we're even like capable of mounting these things. Ooh. Why would they put a sticker there? I've literally done no research. No, no, so I think you just put the face in, yep, but with soap. Get soap in there and it'll... Yep, and then we flip the whole flip thing it. over and then you set the bead. How is that difficult? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it should be... We should put that on the video. How is that difficult? And then it's going to be... Why is this even hard? Sorry I brought this strange dog into your, <laughs> into your home. It doesn't bite my child. <laughs> <laughs> we were, you were like, oh god. I, well, I'm seeing like... Had dog bites at work. I know, same here. So I saw a kid's arm get ripped off by a dog that looked like a slightly larger version of that dog. I saw a kid's face get bit off. Fucking fucked up. Oh, dude. Let's go hump it. Two. It wants to go. Oh, dude, that was yeah! Easier. That was easier than. Sweet victory! We're gonna get a lot of shit in the comments. We, we are. Hey, we, we're learning all this stuff as we go. It's part of uh, having a hobby, and not everybody knows everything right off the bat. So, we have the quarter turn. The quarter turn, and you go like, all all Yeah, or we could use the flammable stuff. <laughs> we could. Spray, spray. He made it look so easy. Well, it's not burnt rubber. All right. Well, I'll do some. I'll do some research tonight, and mm. I'm gonna get Merlin to the vet, and uh, we'll we'll come back tomorrow. Maybe it's your dog. Figure it out. Oh, buddy. So I'm pulling into the animal clinic right now. They're about to close. They close in a few minutes, but I think they got enough time to just scan him real quick and let me know if he. Uh, if I can take him home tonight, or if I should hold on to him, or maybe they'll want to hold on to him, or something. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Sit. Hey. Sit. All right, well, it turns out Marlin's actually a female. Can you sit down? Sit. Well, no, no chip, actually. So, and no posts on Facebook or anything. And it's a girl. So, as much as I like the name Merlin, and I was very attached to it, it's not gonna work. They would call you Marla? I don't like that. Okay, what are we gonna tell Mama? Oh, she's not gonna like that you don't have a chip. I'm telling you right now, she's gonna be upset at you. No chip. Yep, and I checked all the websites. I haven't seen anything yet. But I'm gonna bring her in. She's so sweet. 
prepare to meet the sweetest, most lovable, most joy-filled husky you've ever ever done met. Will you be super cautious about um, yeah, Sterling and Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, I can close the door. Yeah. Yeah, sure okay, Sterling, can you go sit on the couch? Daddy's gonna bring in a, a new doggy. We're gonna babysit her. We're gonna babysit the puppy for one week. Yep. And then we'll send her off to a kill shelter. I, I, his name was Merlin, which I thought was the coolest name for a male husky. Now it's like Marla. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. He's very fluffy and clean. Oh, growling. No growling. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Because. <laughs> We've got Merlin back here at the home. She's been introduced to our doggies. <laughs> She's very vocal. <laughs> yeah, that's what Max but likes she's to call being, it. But she's being playful and kind of like defensive of me. She doesn't like... She's not mean or anything. I feel so safe for our children. We put the kids away. They're, they're in bed before we brought her back inside. It is super sketchy to bring a strange dog into your home. Uh, her body language and everything was telling us a lot, but you never really know. I very happy that she's not bitten anyone and I'm very excited for her to find her home because I think she comes from a good one. She was clean, she's well mannered, and you can tell she gets a lot of love at home. So hopefully we find her home. And can I keep her? Nope. Please? Nope. What if I, what if I uh, fortified the yard and, and pay into a monthly stipend to help care for her. Yeah. And we will pick back up on the video that we were currently filming. We'll pick back up on it tomorrow. We'll start over at Tyler's house. We're going to uh, hopefully wrap up those wheels and tires. I gotta figure out how to mount them or how to set the bead on those things. We don't, we have no idea. All right, guess what guys? I just got a text message from her owner, which is, it's great news. It's really good news. It's bittersweet. I get to keep her. <laughs> she belongs to a good home. She kept trying to get in bed with us. Yeah, she's a kettle bug. So the owners are on their way now. It's like 10 something at night, but um, hey, I'm glad that we took her off the train tracks and we found her home and uh, the owners are coming to get her. That's the power of social media, super cool. Totally gonna take it off camera. Hey, my money! <laughs> <laughs>